it does not do well to dwell on dreams and forget to live. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. As much money in life as you could want. The two things most human beings would choose above all. The trouble is, humans do have a knack of choosing precisely those things that are worst for them. The truth. It is a beautiful and terrible thing and should therefore be treated with great caution. Ah, oh, music. A magic beyond all we do here. It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Fox is a phoenix, Harry. Phoenixes burst into flame when it is time for them to die and are reborn from the ashes. The happiest man on earth would be able to use the mirror of Erisat like a normal mirror. That is, he would look into it and see himself exactly as he is. He would also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Happiness can be found, even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. You think the dead we loved truly ever leave us? You think that we don't recall them more clearly in times of great trouble? It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. Numbing the pain for a while will make it worse when you finally feel it. Curiosity is not a sin, but we should exercise caution with our curiosity. Yes, indeed. We are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. Differences of habit and language are nothing at all if our aims are identical and our hearts are open. Indifference and neglect often do much more damage than outright dislike. Youth cannot know how age thinks and feels, but old men are guilty if they forget what it was to be young. And now, Harry, let us step out into the night and pursue that flighty temptress adventure. Age is foolish and forgetful when it underestimates youth. It is the unknown we fear when we look upon death and darkness. Nothing more. Words are, in my not-so-humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic, capable of both inflicting injury and remedying it. It is a curious thing, Harry, but perhaps those who are best suited to power are those who have never sought it. Those who, like you, have leadership thrust upon them and take up the mantle because they must and find to their own surprise that they wear it well. Of course it is happening inside your head, Harry. But why on earth should that mean that it is not real? Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living. And above all, those who live without love. after all this time. 
or in dreams, we enter a world that is entirely our own. I am not worried, Harry. I am with you. Remember, if the time should come when you have to make a choice between what is right and what is easy, remember what happened to a boy who was good and kind and brave because he strayed across the path of Lord Voldemort. Remember, Cedric Diggory. Have you any idea how much tyrants fear the people they oppress? All of them realize that one day, amongst their many victims, there is sure to be one who rises against them and strikes back. You place too much importance, and you always have done, on the so-called purity of blood. You fail to recognize that it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. We can't choose our fate, but we can choose others. Be careful in knowing that. Dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. <laughs>